Irame sate ake saine maki. Welcome. Sare dake sare ne makasare ki. Mmm, it's been a bit. Sare dake ako saine makasite ki. Today, my friend, Sare da beka sare ni ni ameka. We're just gonna be connecting more with the heart. Sare da beka ake saine maka. And the heart is such an important aspect of our lives. Sare da beka ake saine maka. Such an important portal. Sare da beka sare ni ni ameka. The heart is where most of the wisdom lies. Of your ancestors, of your true self. Of our story. And at times as humans, we can be so good at running away from the wisdom of the heart and whatever it is that the heart is telling us. Because, you know, we got to look at all the things there are around this portal of transformation, this divine wisdom this unconditional love, right? And and that could be or feel challenging, but why does it feel challenging? You know, these are some questions that you can really ponder on, right? Like, why does it feel challenging to really look into my heart, to really feel what my heart is saying, to connect with the wisdom of my ancestors, to connect with the wisdom of your old lives, even the wisdom of the lives that you will have, right? When we come, when we talk about these experiences, like the, everything is really happening right here, right now, but you are the portal through which everything comes in, tapping into everything, you know? So like the heart space, just like your own organism, your own system, it has like billions of antennas to shoot out to many distances, right? There's not really like a space that says, okay, I go from here to here. It's just like, phew, and what does this antennas do? You know, that antennas connects you, connects you with the heart of others. You know, there's a connector that goes from my heart to yours. It's a connector that goes from, of course, your heart to your mom's heart, from your mom's heart to your, your heart, and so on. And then it's not just about like the people that are here physically present having this human experience, but it's also about the ones that are no longer here present. The ones that we just say they are, um, deities, that there are goddesses, you know, angels, archangels, and any of these divine beings that are there, they have this contract with you to guide you through your journey. And so whenever the heart space, you know, in a way is clogged, like all these channels, right? So like, see as the like the beauty of the heart of this sphere that just contains all the entire wisdom of of society, of life, or anything else that we cannot even imagine, right? Like even the wisdom of Atlantis, right? Everything is there, everything is there. But in order for you to tune in to that wisdom and really live from that wisdom, you know, you also have to clear the channels that are in a way like blocking that wisdom. This is where like the really, the powerful illusion of light really kicks in, you know, because it's not that like that has never been there or you just rediscovered it. Like it's always been there. It's always been there. It's just like we come into this 3D reality and all like the stories that were created by like the imagination of others for eons and eons of times, then it like puts this like sheer or this layer around that space for you to believe that it's not even there. And so whenever you start to really tap into this, like, oh, wow, you know, I'm discovering this. I mean, in reality, you had already known that because it's part of you. But so like what happens is like breaking through that shield in a way that, you know, that gets placed around it for you to tap in into that wisdom of the heart. And, and so like, of course, this layers is anything that has happened in your current existence and also past and also anything that was passed on to you from your ancestors, from your lineage, right? In our story, of course, because that's not separate from you or from me, it's still in our system. So then we begin to look into this right as we're in this journey of awakening this journey of remembrance and here comes like all these triggers or these activations that it's just like I can't how could I actually look at those things right those things that hurt me so deeply and so then and there's like the choice of going into the victimhood right the victim mentality or into the empowerment and of course the heart is always guiding you into this empower empowered version of yourself more and more and more because you're merging those two 
you're merging the empowered version of the heart itself, your heart, you know, your own wisdom, the heart of the universe, the heart of life with this current version of you, right? So in order to merge these two versions of yourself, you must look at those things that bring you fear, right? But it's, it's not the, like you're doing this alone. We're all doing this together in some kind of version of another. We're all holding each other, each other's hands. We're all holding just ourselves through this journey. Because again, we already know that it's inside of us. We already know we maybe had this glimpse, maybe like five years ago, or maybe yesterday, we had this tiny little glimpse that yes, like we do have that inside of us. That like that power of the heart is just so immense that we can't even fathom with the, with the mind, but then we feel it. It. and we know the ancestors are there and we know we can tap in into all this wisdom of the earth and all the wisdom of Atlantis and all the wisdom of the archangels and etc right but here it comes you know that's always like in a way like a powerful test you know good morning love and good morning to everybody thank you for being here and it's always like a powerful test, you know, from you to you. It's not that somebody was like thinking like, oh, how can I punish her or him? You know, it's just like that divine heart of yours that is like telling you, it's like, hey, listen, we can actually have a really freaking powerful life. You can actually do whatever it is that you love to do, that you're in your zone of genius, that it doesn't feel like work and loving yourself and just have this abundant life and really be that reflection of the abundance that you already have inside of you. It's like constantly saying those things to you. And so whenever you listen, okay, whenever you listen and you say, okay, I surrender and I'm going for this, doesn't even make sense with my head, but I'm just going with this and this is where all those triggers what we call triggers come up they come up to the surface because that heart inside of yours is saying like yes yes I can do this yes I got this and here it is you know that's the test do you actually believe that you can actually do it do you surrender to the wisdom and the guidance of the heart which is honestly the wisdom of life itself, the wisdom of all the ancestors, every single point, as I was saying with the billions of connectors of life, connect in your heart, right? In your energetic hearts and the heart of the universe and the heart of life. And then it goes into you and is sharing and is pushing things for you to see, you know? Imagine if you're just like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm ready to just like shift perspectives and shift lives and shift work, whatever it is that you're doing, right? Right? and as you're telling me like show me okay show me the mirror so here it goes you know the wisdom of the heart going really, like here it is and then and then whenever you're ready when you're like almost like done with this one and it's in, it's in the super almost done part of the integration process here comes another one right it's just like this powerful mirror that continuously just does this right and then the other side where you're looking at these things right you as the powerful being that you are, multidimensional being that is feeling this shift within you, you have the choice of looking at it as a gift or just saying like, it's too much, I'm just gonna go away from this. But like going away from that, it's going away from your gifts. It's going away from your presence. It's going away from your strength. It's going away from all this wisdom that is coming through you. It's saying to your heart, like, I know better than you. Right? Like the ego comes in so strongly and says like, I got it. I don't need help. But in reality, it's just you saying like, look at this. And then look at this. I don't love, you know, it's not like it's like throwing things at you. It's just saying like, hey, take a look at this right now. Because this part of yourself needs more love. This part of yourself actually needs more embrace from you. This part of yourself needs to know that you love it. And then whenever from the other side, you surrender to that and rather than going into victimhood again, you know, you said, okay, let me see it. I will see it. And then you begin to see it and you merge, you know, that which before was like so deeply like painful and you see it as just such a divine gift. You see you as a divine gift and then there's no more pain. It just dissolves and then you merge with that. There's where the integration happens right there. And then again, your heart, you know, the wisdom of the heart after the time of the integration, after it feels like, okay, she's ready, he's ready. Now let's this one, look at this one. 
this part of you needs more love now and so it's a constant thing that happens you know hello darling it's a constant thing that happens you know that is telling you like the wisdom of life itself you know with pure consciousness your own pure consciousness our own pure consciousness is doing this out of love because the moment that you say yes to yourself the moment that you say that in a way like fuck it how many of you have had those fucking moments you know and it's like okay you know i let go of control and I'm just gonna go for this and I'm gonna let my heart lead the way you know so then that gets activated the heart gets activated and it's like okay yes this being is super ready for this let's begin this process and it goes like this you know like we can call this like the shadow process right like but in reality it's like the unity you know the remembrance process because again you're tapping in into that core essence of yourself and all the layers that were around it they was either placed by society by the thoughts by the illusions by the imagination of people again that has been here for a long time or also by yourself by your mind that was covering that it begins to pierce through that because again and that core essence of you gets activated and goes like bam okay let me send you this okay and the more that you begin to look at those as like something so divine as some part of you that says like I need you look at me love me you know you said yes okay yes I will because you are me and I know that that part of me actually needs this love and so you begin to love it and what happens with that little like um, wall like that happens around the core essence of you it begins to go smaller and smaller and smaller you know it's very similar to the clouds in the sky right so in a very cloudy day when it's raining like crazy like it looks like so shadowy and perhaps you don't even see the sun but you sun the sun is there and the more that the rain like stops its process you know it's not as dark and begins to get lighter and lighter and lighter and then all of a sudden you know like clear skies right so that's like a very similar process and then you see the sun you see the light and they're like oh you're there you have been there thank you right it's very similar with your being with the core essence of you that is just like oh you're looking at me you're seeing me thank you for seeing me and then yeah it is a process that repeats and repeats and repeats now it's, it's something of course that like the very beginning it might might feel a little challenging right but it does feel challenging because again that bend around the core essence of you how thick has it been you know like how many um, silly things have you told to yourself like for this entire existence and even before right and not just you but like your family you know maybe even the friends that you surrender yourself with like how much pollution have you put into that that it just became so strong to the point that you could not even tap in into the heart space yeah so of course the moment that you say like okay you know like i feel that something is calling me i will surrender to it it might be like holy shit, this is a little too much but like it's because you know like the thickness of that and because the illusion and those like thought patterns and they great imagination of this illusion when it was super created you know it was just so like the percentage of it was like so grand that you might feel like this tiny little being fighting this whole giant but in reality the whole giant is this, this tiny little speck and you are this massive being that it cannot stop you it cannot stop you it has the illusion to just like make you believe that it's this ginormous thing and then you cannot go for it but in reality it's just in here you know and that's like the power of the illusion whenever we like see it as how it is you know but then whenever you realize that it's actually just like not even a dot and then you are this grand thing that it doesn't even have limits and that is like the access point to that even if you have like half a second of that kind of awareness that is when the most of the activation of the heart goes like we're ready we are ready let's go for this and again it goes into like 
look at me I love love myself and then look at me and look at this you know and then even looking at aspects of the collective that Matt maybe was just like this tiny little thing in you that is very pressing in the collective because then the more the heart gets activated the more that you tap in into that wisdom you know then you become also the channel through which most people that perhaps have no idea consciously what's happening and they're suffering all that you become the support system because then you're tapping into the feminine energy the feminine energy that says it's us it's us it's not i there's no i there's no separation it's us we're all unity we're all here in this together and you become that a beautiful energy of the mother you know like the mother earth like goodness she gives us so many things and even life itself you know i was in the sister call this morning and like one of the sisters was saying wow you know like there's so much abundance that is free you know like the sunlight you know the rain and like the trees and all those kinds of things and like and at times we're just so tunnel vision that like abundance looks like this but no expand out of that and the more that you expand out of it, then the heart begins to just like, whoo, whoo. have you been waiting on really tapping into the wisdom of the ancestors? Have you been waiting on tapping into the wisdom of the elements? Have you been waiting into tapping into your own wisdom that you carry in your veins and you carry in your cells? And what are you waiting for? <laughs> what are you waiting for when it's there? It's there. All you have to do is say yes. You know, and it's not like, okay, you know, Rukmani is saying this thing, so I'm going to say yes. It's like saying that thing from yourself, like, fuck yes, I'll do it. I'll do it because I know I came here to do something greater than I can even fathom. I'll do it because I'm worthy. I'll do it because I know I can. And I know my heart is telling me this and even more my intuition and everything else. And that is the alchemy, my friends. That is the alchemy. When you say yes to you, even if around yourself, like most people are like, you're going nuts. Cool. <laughs> you know, you think I'm going nuts for you. That's awesome. And myself, it makes complete fucking sense. And so I'm going to stay here and I'm going to do it for me. I'm not going to do it for anybody else. I'm going to do it for me because I feel it in me. And this is my personal story. This is your personal story that you get to rediscover your truth. You get to tap in into that in, in the way that makes the most sense for you. It doesn't even matter if it doesn't make sense for others. It doesn't even matter if your journey as a whole makes no sense to your dad, to your mom, to your family, to your boyfriend, to your girlfriend, to your pet, whatever, you know, as long as it makes sense to you, that's all that matters. As long as you honor it, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. You honor your journey. You surrender to your journey. You follow your heart. You follow your intuition. It doesn't matter if others say, like, that makes no fucking sense and you're crazy. It doesn't matter. If it makes sense to you, in whichever way it does, that's all that matters. And then you continue to go. And then you'll see, you know, that later down the road, people will come to you that, like a magnet, you know, because what happens, you activate the heart and all this wisdom comes in again that has already been there. It's not like it was gone. And then you become that magnet because then you become the divinity of life itself, the divinity of life itself. So then, of course, there's the remembrance by other people as they see you talk, or as they see you walk, or as they see you paint or dance, whatever it is that you do, you know, and it's like you. Like, what do you have? Why I'm so attracted to you? Because you remember and you activated that in you, in this existence. So then everybody else that is kind of like sleeping and not sleeping and kind of sleeping and being awake a little bit, you know, are like, wow, like, can you, can you show me? Or I just want to talk to you. I don't know. Like, I just want to figure out something. Like, what is it about you? And you can really just look into the eyes. It's like, I remember. And this is why you're attracted because you are remembering and you're being guided to remember that space of the heart and all the wisdom that comes in and your ancestors, our ancestors and the whole thing, you know, you're remembering that you're a portal yourself and that, holy shit, you know, what a beautiful blessing that, that is for yourself and for others and for this whole existence, you know, to go from like this earth that is like, <laughs> to like, 
unity, you know, the sacred unit and the masculine and the feminine in the collective. But it has to happen within us, you know, the remembrance that is there because it's already there, the remembrance that is there. So you remember that and you become again that channel through which other people remember, whether you know them physically or not. And it can even be through a dream. Goodness, dream spaces are so beautiful and powerful. And in that space, so much magic happens, you know? And what is the belief of dreams? Dreams are just dreams, you know? <laughs> no, it's a dream, don't pay attention. But really, do you pay attention to the dreams? What are they telling you? Because it's another space that is like beyond a life. And there's so much alchemy that happens right there too. So the message today was about your heart, you know? Step in into that. And allow that purity to come in. And there's no need to be fearful of that. Remember, of course, you know, like all this thing that has happened in humanity, all these things that have happened like in the existence, you know, it will be there as like a, this barrier, you know, but it is your love and it's your strength that says like, no, that is not my reality. And I know there's something much deeper that I can even say with words, but I feel it. And wow, in that space, you become you. No more the version that other people say that you had to become, you know, but then you are you in whichever way that you want to be. And wow, what a gift that is that you give to yourself. So I will just leave you with that, that you are a gift and you can always remember that because it is remembered in your being tap in beyond that illusion so then you allowed you to fully come through <laughs> mm, blessings everybody you're so welcome and know that it's just it's it's us doing this work you know it's not like i'm here just like saying all these things like there's a greater energy that comes through for you and me at times these messages i'm meant to hear them too you know so it's not like I ask you not to put me in this pedestal. A lot of people that reach out to me, they do. I'm also just a human being having this experience with you. But I've learned to surrender through the years with my experiences and tap into that. That of course, you know, to be honest, it was beyond challenging for sure, for sure. But literally the moment that I said, fuck it. <laughs> I just surrender. It was like whoosh, massive activations and activations after another and after another. And then realized that this experience, although, you know, is very important as a personal experience, is way more important as a collective experience. So remember that your personal experience has a really deep impact in our collective experience. And what you choose to say to yourself, it's also a reflection of what others choose to say to themselves. So be that change. You know, that's why it says, I like, be the change you want to see in the world, right? Because if you say those things, remember, can you imagine how many other people are saying that to themselves? And you begin to change saying to yourself in front of the mirror, I love you. And how much that can shift the lives of people that you don't even know exist. Because we're all connected. We're all connected. So that change does start with you, which becomes like this ripple effect massively in all our brothers and sisters. They're experiencing this existence with us and the ones that are coming. This is why it's so important to do what you do, you know? And it doesn't even matter what you do as long as you love to do it, as long as time totally stops and then you're just you. That's what matters. That's what matters. And through that, you know, we are cold in space for the shift that is happening. So the ones that are coming, they will not suffer as much as we have suffered out of lack of awareness. Because we're shifting this planet. We're raising the consciousness. And we're merging with a new earth. And it all happens with you. With you, with me, with all of us. Little by little. And it's not like one little step is a little step, you know? Like if it's so fearful for you to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I love you, that's a ginormous step. 
and then it will be a ginormous ripple effect in through the rest of the planet so <laughs> wow <laughs> my heart is like <laughs> so yes tap in into that blessings to all of you thank you for being here it's a it's beautiful to be in this space again i had to just like take a little time out to be with the energies and with everything that was coming in and i'm grateful for that and to be here with all of you one more time is also a blessing and a gift so thank you for that and blessings 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 have a beautiful beautiful rest of your day have an amazing weekend be safe with whatever it is that you're doing and have fun you know at times like we're so deep in the inner world so like we might forget to have fun let me tell you something really quick before i go i found this in spotify this 90s playlist in spanish you know spanish is my first language and i was like i had a party in my office <laughs> Because I was like, whoa, I forgot about the songs, you know? And then it's just like, when you tap in into music, and it's just like a portal, too, to the past, you know? That can bring so much joy to your being. So music is powerful. If that resonates with you, you know, perhaps check it out. And then have fun. Have fun. Enjoy your being. Enjoy your being. And for anything else that you need for your awakening process, I'm here. We can always have a chat. I love you. I love you. I love you. Ciao.